following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. You know, we have Tom on from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, thanks. Good. Hi, Tom. How you guys doing? Doing you great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter is outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the front of my leg. I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Primal Edge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 6648 Now your hosts, Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark. Good morning. I'm Nico DeHaan. Welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle, where we explore a return to our more balanced and natural wild world to recover our natural health and regain our rights and freedoms. That's a beautiful day in downtown St. Petersburg, 66 degrees, uh, be in the 70s during the day and 60s at night for the next week. So rather pleasant. We've had a really, really good winter here so far, that's for sure. Hope that you're doing well. Uh, I wanted to remind you, first of all, to please pick up our Primal Edge, our one-shot wonder, over 310 organic cell-ready liquid ingredients, all powered by fulvic and humic acid, which makes the good stuff go into your cells and the bad stuff goes out of your cells. And the other thing, of course, is the Health Signals newsletter. I have a brand new issue out here now. Uh, this is number 23 for the year, so we got one more for the year. But this talks about the creepy... Uh, uh, legal health data harvesting that Google, Google is doing. And of course, there's a lot more in this th thing following the show. Uh, Paige is out. Uh, she's in the Keys uh, doing some business. And uh, so I'm here by myself. But my first topic here is, you know, Christmas is just around the corner. And uh, you may want to think twice about bef uh, before you gift your child a tablet or a phone this holiday season, as increasingly research suggests screen time may cause more harm than good. And we're talking about the smaller children on this, but maybe all of them. I don't know. Let's see how the research goes. But watching more than two hours of screen time a day may harm the structural integrity of white matter in preschoolers' brains with implications for language and literary skills. Children under two years old shouldn't use screens, but even those two and over may have really lifelong consequences of too much screen time during childhood. Now, pre School-aged children may be particularly at risk, uh, which is why the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends li uh, limiting the use of two- to five-year-olds just one hour a day of high-quality programming and even then watching it with them so you can support their learning. Uh, watching beyond this amount could have lasting effects on your child's health and even harming brain development, according to a study by researchers at Cincinnati's Children's Hospital Medical Center. Those with greater screen time had lower microstructural integrity of the brain white matter, an area linked with the cognitive function and language. The study involved 47 children between the ages of 2 and 5. Q-Screen was used, and that's a testing system for children, uh, to measure the screen usage in accordance with the AAP recommendations, taking into account such factors as access to screens, the frequency of use, what type of context was, view, context was viewed, and whether co-viewing occurred, as in did an adult watch along with the child to discuss the content. A higher screen cue was associated with a greater screen time, and MRIs were then used to assess the children's brain, revealing more screen time was harmful to the brain's white matter, particularly in tra uh, tracks supporting language and literary skills. Uh, the author here, Dr. John Hutton, uh, says, while we can't yet determine whether screen time causes structural changes or implications for long-term neurodevelopmental risks. He says, these findings uh, warrant further study to understand what they mean and how to set appropriate limits on technical use. Yeah, preschoolers, and we see them all the time. Of course, one of the other problems is that uh, when you're in the screen time, they're not out playing. They're playing on their tablet. They're usually sitting down, and they may not have an adult with them. So whatever they see, they have to interpret themselves. Uh, among even younger 18-month-old children, those uh, that were allowed to view media on mobile devices were more likely to have an expressive speech delays with each additional 30 minutes of viewing time associated with greater odds of speech delay. 
AAP recommends toddlers younger than 18 to 24 months to avoid digital media, except for maybe video chatting. Researchers are only beginning to understand in the many ways the screen time interferes with human health. Beyond your brain, staring at screens is damaging for eyesight and comes with risks, exposure to electromagnetic fields, EMFs, and the Wi-Fi radiation and all the other threats of phone, uh, cell phone exposure. We talk about that a lot on the show. There's also a fact that most screen time uh, occurs with sitting down. Yeah, I mentioned that already. There's no need to wait for more definite research before taking action to protect your child's health. Use the screen time guidelines as a maximum, even better reduce the screen time, including television, television vi uh, visiting. I know a lot of uh, parents these days are actually taking the TVs out of the house when they have children completely. I have a friend, my a friend Lucian Randolph in Orlando, the, the, did that with his kids. And I think it's an important step. I think the kids need to be out and about. They need to be learning from things that they can touch and not on a screen. Some school environments, such as the Waldorf, exclude all technology from the classrooms and their students' curriculum. They also encourage the same standards for school uh, for children at home. This is increasingly becoming a healthy option for concerned parents who are aware of the growing number of unintended adverse effects of EMF technologies. And this applies to adults, too. We're, you know, one of the things we're trying to do at our house is also limit ourselves. And it's difficult. It's difficult because your work is involved with screen time. So that means you're involved in these screens. But there are some solutions that you can get to. So, you know, that's a good thing. Um, one of the things you can do is uh, just keep these tablets away. And if you want to introduce your child, if he's over two, I think you can probably introduce him to some screen time. But do it in conjunction with you. So explaining what's going on, why we use these devices and what they're used for. And uh, I'd stay away from the games and things like that that they have for children on because that encourages them and gets them kind of addicted to the gaming thing. All these simple little games on here uh, really encourage more viewing time. And then it gets competitive too, which means not sharing. So if you want your child to be in that type of world, you need to get them out of that type of world is what I'm trying to say. Researchers are only beginning to understand there's no need to wait for more definite uh, research before taking any action to protect your child's health. It's also a good idea to establish screen-free times and activities for the whole family. Even as your ch uh, children enter in your teen years, ensure that meal times, bedtimes, and other times are de designated as free time for any digital extractions. So I think this is important not only for children, but as the research is starting to show that these things can damage your eyes, especially if your eyes are just developing now. And uh, it's just our modern living seems to do that for most of our healthy things, like eyesight in the city uh, doesn't get enhanced uh, when you're out in the woods. That does get enhanced because now you're looking at a lot of different things. Your eyes have to constantly adjust to different things because... The light is bouncing off the leaves, and uh, there's so much more interesting things to see in the woods because you're not too used to being there, and things are alive there, and you want to see them, and you want to get involved with them. Where in the city, it's kind of like, you know, all this stuff is just coming in, and you're kind of just absorbing it instead of the other way around. Stick around, folks. Uh, I got a nice, uh, uh, some information on mushrooms that we're going to talk about the rest of the show. So stick around. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated Traded fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The number here is 877-927-6648. And I'm going to talk about mushrooms, and mushrooms have been in my life ever since my dad started taking me out when I was a boy. We On Saturdays, we would either go out in the morning uh, and hunt for snakes or for mushrooms. Those were, those were the two biggies that we always went for. And he gave me a nice education. He had many books on them. Most of them were in Dutch, matter of fact, that I remember. Uh, but when we went over to Canada, uh, we started looking at those types of mushrooms. And so mushrooms have, uh, are having a moment these days. Uh, and the market uh, goes far beyond the portobellas, the shiteks, and the button mushrooms you might find in your produce area. Whole Foods named so-called functional mushrooms used for centuries in traditional medicine as one of the top 10 food trends of 2018. Suddenly, erotic varieties such as rishi and chaga and cordyceps and lion's mane are turning up in everything from powders to extracts uh, to coffee, teas, smoothies, broths, chocolates, face creams, and shower gels. U.S. sales of mushrooms accounted for nearly $5 billion of revenue in 2017, according to the market research firm Grand View Research, and the market is projecting to rise to $7.4 billion in the next three years. So um, the author here, his name is uh, Simon Heath, freely admits that not, not to draw too much uh, from the earthy flavor, but instead the idea that consuming mushrooms will make you feel and perform better. According to the website, Chuck, uh, mushrooms provide energy and mood enhancements, increased, uh, increased vitality endurance in lion's mane, uh, improves brain function, and reishi uh, fights off tumor and uh, cancer growth. So they're doing lots of studies with this too. Now there's plenty of companies that sell products that tout mushrooms as a magic elixir. Dried mushroom powders from Ohm mushrooms, for example, have an anti-aging property to retain your youthful vibrance and harmonize your longevity with uh, energy and spirit. Moon juice provides brain dust featured on uh, a uh, celebrity's website called Goop. Uh, it's edible intelligence and will help combat the effects of stress to align you with the cosmic flow from greater, for greater achievement. Uh, yeah, let's see what else is in here. It's, uh, it's, 
it's possible that some of the compounds have really some remarkable properties, says uh, Nicholas Money, who's a Ph.D. biology professor at the Miami University of Ohio. But his uh, 2016 review of evidence published in the Journal of Fungal Biology found that marketing claims go far beyond what is supported in science. So they're making claims that uh, yet, as yet have been unproven. But remember, a lot of these claims on mushrooms are in our traditional medicine. So this is something that probably for thousands of years people have used and have had benefit from. So I think that weighs a lot. It's a little different than our medical uh, journals saying, okay, this is all right. Mushrooms traditionally associated, excuse me, associated with medicinal properties are not always tasty on their own. Chaka, uh, which is C-H-A-G-A, for example, has a taste and texture of tree bark, not too pleasant. But from a neutral, uh, nutritional standpoint, the varieties we commonly nibble on and cook are quite good for you. Edible mushrooms are low in calories. One cup of raw sliced white mushrooms is only 16 calories. It's rich in protein and fiber and a good source of vitamin B, as well as the minerals such as potassium, copper, and selenium. Mushrooms also contain an unusual high amounts of antioxidants, the uh, agar the lean and the uh, uh, glutathione, uh, according to this study at uh, Pennsylvania State University published in the journal Food Chemistry. Antioxidants such as these are known for protecting cells from the damage associated with diseases such as cancer, heart disease, and Alzheimer's. And mushrooms do at least have one magic property. Like people and unlike plant, they can convert ultraviolet light from the sun into vitamin D. Outside uh, of a few types of fatty fish and fortified dairy products, mushrooms are the only good dietary source of that essential vitamin. The catch is that commercial farmers often grow mushrooms inside, but uh, you can put these outside then and actually you turn them upside down and uh, let the sun go there just 15 minutes and it will absorb the vitamin D for you. Uh, you can also buy mushrooms labeled vitamin D and rich, which indicates they're exposed to the ultraviolet light. But they often cost more, so they recommend once you get your mushrooms, put them uh, outside on an aluminum foil, and in about 15 minutes you can get your vitamin D uh, at least 25% enhanced by doing this. If you use whole mushrooms, she advises laying them gills up. Yeah, that makes sense. In addition to eating mushrooms, uh, cultures around the world have used them medicinally for thousands of years. Uh, the Greeks identified the adumu, uh, amadu mushroom as good for reducing inflammation, cauterizing wounds, and this was around 450 BCE. Uh, Otizzi, the iceman preserved in the Italian apps, you know, remember that? He was 5,300 years old, was discovered with a whipworm eggs in his digestive system and probably not coincidentally. Now, there were leather strap around his neck, threaded with mushrooms that are known to kill intestinal parasites. Our ancient people really did know lots of stuff that we don't actually know now. In fact, that's probably being kept of us because our parents don't know anymore. And the, the sharing of a community like a tribe or a larger family, these things would be instilled with you because these things are used every day. Remember, in the old day, our children were with us 24-7. They're always right there. And they're watching what we're doing. They're watching what we're cooking. They're watching how we hunt, how we're quiet. It's a different world. You need only look at the, pro, uh, at the uh, physical active effects of hallucinated mushrooms and the toxicity of the poison varieties to understand that mushrooms can have potent biological effects. Uh, mushrooms produce a lot of interesting chemical compounds that could be defensive. Fungi produce some of the most interesting drugs, pointing out that both penicillin and cholesterol-lowering statins were derived from fungi in the category of organisms that includes the mushrooms. So they might be useful in fending off bacteria and other bodily invaders that make us sick. One of the best studied types of medicinal mushroom is the turkey tail, so named because it grows in autumn colored rings resembling feathers. Studies in humans and animals suggest that a compound of turkey tail may stimulate the immune system. In clinical trials, the supplement appeared to improve survival for people with gastric or colon cancer, and although the evidence is not as strong, may also benefit those that have other types of cancers. 
Several clinical trials show that a similar compound extracted from the shiitake mushrooms extends survival in patients with stomach, prostate, uh, sort of, uh, colorectal, and colorectal and liver cancers when combined with chemotherapy. So these can be used as medicine and in conjunction with some of our modern things. Other vi uh, varieties show a lot of promise. For the most part, research has not progressed beyond the test tubes of animal studies. Those studies have found that with the turkey tail and the shiitak compounds found in reishi mushrooms may strengthen the immune system to fight cancer. In most studies, uh, researchers found that extract from the chaga mushroom enhanced learning and memory, reduced inflammation, increased exercise endurance, and lowered blood sugar. Lion's mane mushrooms have been found to speed up wound healing and help repair nerves in injured rats. So when we get back, I'm going to go over uh, a few different types of mushrooms and uh, how you can use them. So stick around. I'll be right back. Pick up some primal edge during the break, please. like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of performance training since 1998 Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically as a certified personal trainer Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions the performance training studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balance results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Welcome back, and we're talking about mushrooms right now, and certain varieties of mushrooms possess psychotropic properties that have been prized since at least the beginning of recorded time, with some scientists even proclaiming that magic mushrooms are the key to human evolutions. That's pretty profound. The uh, fungi kingdom represents a distinct type of organism separate from animals, plants, and bacteria. Like animals, fungi absorb nutrients from the environment and excrete 
digestive enzymes in the case of mushrooms into the surrounding soil so they make the soil healthier uh, mycelium uh, are the unseen parts of mushrooms that extend below the soil strongly resembling neural networks thread-like roots known as hyphae which can extend for miles around uh, into the earth absorbing nutrients and decomposing organic materials uh, intrinsically aware of their host needs is the way this author who wrote a book on uh, how mushrooms can help save the world uh, his name is uh, what is it here well I guess it's not important Paul is his first name uh, he believes that mu uh, mushrooms are sentient devising device uh, enzymatic and chemical responses to complex challenges uh, beyond sentience, Paul explains that mushrooms possess a co-creative consciousness and would benefit humanity greatly to learn how to interface because these externalized uh, neurological nets sense any impression upon them from footsteps to falling tree branches and they can relay enormous amounts of data regarding the movements of all organisms throughout the landscape. So they've pointed out seven here. There was a new study conducted at the uh, Pennsylvania State University College of Medicine. They tested 11 species of mushrooms to, per, to determine what, uh, uh, which ones possessed the strongest antioxidant formula. Out of the 11, they picked seven. And uh, we'll go down the list here. Let's see. So porcini is the first one. It's a large mushroom with a cap that can reach up to 12 inches in diameter. Uh, it's popular in Italian cuisine. Porcini mushrooms represent a few different varieties, typically reddish brown in color, possess a thick skin, are slightly sticky to the touch. This uh, species of mushroom fruits from summer to fall, and you can find them most of the year in specialty stores. Your forager search for these mushrooms in the uh, mulchy undergrowth of, har of uh, hardwood forests, such as uh, pine, chestless hemlock, and spruce. The golden oyster is a mushroom typically cultivated rather than wild harvests, making them a great mushroom to grow at home. They grow in virtually anything using straw mats, ordinary compost, with mushroom starters from these kits that you can purchase from stores. Uh, they possess a golden hue, uh, growing clusters have a nutty and slightly bitter flavor. Uh, Pio, uh, Pino, I, I don't know any of these pronunciations, but I'm just going by it. These are the velvet uh, kind of uh, brown appearance with small caps, and they grow on decayed logs at a mulchy base of the hardwood trees. They have a mild and slightly peppery taste, and they're popular among uh, adding recipes uh, because of that. They also grow in clusters and long, uh, sturdy stems, and smaller in size. The caps are only about two centimeters wide, and they form a form a firm texture when cooked. The oyster mushroom is among the most common and versatile mushrooms. It's easy to cultivate. Oysters grow mainly on decayed wood and possess a slightly sweet, anisist-like smell. They're called oysters to the similar appearance of the sea creatures. Uh, the uh, mesalia of the uh, oyster mushroom uh, eats small ringworms and bacteria, making one of the most carnivorous mushroom species. Colors range from green to pink to yellow, depending on the variety. Lion's mane, very popular. Uh, it's uh, how it's got its name. It's popular, edible, medicinal mushroom. Has exceptional neuroprotective powers thanks to its ability to stimulate synthesis of neuro growth factor. Uh, NGF is a protein that plays a major role in maintenance, survival, and regeneration of neurons in the central and peripheral nervous systems. It's known to improve memory and mood. Uh, may I take take these are found in clusters, typically at the base of oak trees. Go down here. And uh, it's a uh, polypore mushroom. Uh, they lack the distinctive gills of the underside of the cap. Multiple caps emerge in layers from a single thick underground stem, and they can grow quite large. The entire fruit body can weigh 50 pounds or more, wow, with a single cap growing as wide as 12 inches in diameter. The caps grow from uh, white to brown and are semi-firm when cooked, possess a slightly earthy flavor that takes on its own taste of your chosen cooking medium. They've been researched for years for the health benefits, including lowering cholesterol and blood glucose in rats. Shitake, uh, mushrooms are one of the most popular mushrooms and for good reason, revered in Asian countries as the, uh, their potent medicinal properties, they have become a symbol of longevity in many cultures. 
uh, hardy and versatile. They, uh, can, they can be consumed raw or cooked and found in powdered supplements of form and in herbal pharmacies. They grow in clusters on decaying hardwood trees and are also commonly con cultivated for food and medicinal uses. It's a classic umbrella shape. They're beautiful and sustainable uh, substance, or substantial, I should say, large. Caps range from white to light brown and white spots. They can reach up to eight inches in diameter. Cooking releases a garlic pine aroma and a rich, earthy flavor. And they're also available year-round. So a lot of these things are uh, done seasonally, but some of them are, are year-round. So it's important really to get some books on it, maybe take a class on it. I'm sure if you go onto YouTube and put in mushrooms and you'll find a, a lot of information on there. And, of course, you have to do your own research to follow up to make sure that the information is correct. Um, there's uh, this guy, Paul. Here's his name now. Paul Stam Stamets, uh, S-T-A-M-E-T-S. And he had a TED Talk, uh, Mushrooms Can Save the World. So you can look that up, and I'll put the link to that in the Health Signals newsletter, newsletter on, with this uh, article. So you can read it on yourself. So mushrooms is great in soups. They're good for sautéing. You can put them in casseroles. You can even use them as a meat substitute. Probably much better than the Impossible Burger and those things. Uh, you can enjoy white, uh, well, all these different ones. And just be sure to eat them cooked. Uh, be very careful about wild mushrooms because some of them are poisonous. You really have to know what you're doing on this. And uh, there's a lot of different mu mushrooms that give the indication that they look okay, but uh, there's always a small indication around the stem or on top of it that tells you it's poisonous. So you need to know those things. So if you're going to go shopping for them, it shouldn't be a problem because they're not going to sell you the poison ones. But uh, if you're out foraging for yourself and you want to learn about these things, you need to really take a course or start really studying before you go out there and start eating these things for sure. Um, the other thing is, um, while fresh mushrooms may offer maximum health benefits, mushroom powders make it easy to enjoy and mushrooms abund are, uh, to enjoy mushrooms abundantly and frequently. So there's a lot of different uh, companies out there doing these things. Uh, they have uh, this one company from Four Systemic, Four Sigmatic, S-I-G-M-A-T-I-C. They have mushroom coffee, Alliance Main Mushroom Elixir, and more. So all you have to do is add a uh, lot of water. So a lot of these companies are making these little powder forms, which you can make drinks out of them, add them to your protein shake shake them over uh, your eggs in the morning, whatever you will. It's a good way to consume these things. So when we get back, I'm going to start talking about a little uh, psilocybin mushrooms because that's uh, in here too. So I'll be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom 
Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting tfnn.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. And welcome back. And we're talking mushrooms today and uh, psilocybin. Uh, this is an article, Safety, Side Effects, and the Intriguing Research Behind It. Uh, psilocybin is a natural occurring psychedelic substance produced by psilocybin mushrooms, uh, also called magic mushrooms. And with a modern revival of uh, psychedelic research, psilocybin has been investigated for its potential to help people overcome depression and anxiety. Now, psilocybin... Uh, is a classic psychedelic that belongs to the family of hallucinogenic tritames. And uh, the story about psilocybin, in uh, indigenous use, and modern research over the past century is anything but classic. There's over 100 specific hallucinogenic magic mushrooms that contain psilocybin. Uh, these mushrooms grow in different parts of the world and have been used ritually for at least 3,000 years probably longer. Despite the recent renaissance in psychedelic research, there's a lot of controversy surrounding psilocybin mushrooms, of course, the legal aspect of it, the potential therapeutic uh, effects of it. Not, people, not many people know the whole story behind the traditional use of psilocybin containing mushrooms, nor about the efforts that produce our current state of knowledge about it. <coughs> Excuse me, psilocybin is a natural psychedelic found in the, this type of mushroom. And modern research is catching up with the age-old traditional use surrounded by mystery and controversy. So the first use of uh, health solution, uh, uh, these mushrooms date back about 3,000 years to Mexico. They're still being used by the native people in some of those areas for religious ceremonies and healing, along with local communities encountered many struggles in the past with this. Shortly after the European conquest of these territories, Magic mushrooms were banned for the first time in the early 17th century. A couple of centuries passed before these mushrooms gained the attention of Western society <clears throat> and the doctors there for the first time. And uh, they popularized these mushrooms in the 50s after returning from ex uh, some. This is a uh, <clears throat> a guy named uh, Robert Wasson. He's an a, uh, American who can, went down to Mexico and he was experimenting. So after returning from an expedition to Mexico, he participated in the indigenous uh, Mazatec uh, religious religion. He was one of the first Westerners to part participate. And he published an article in Life magazine saying, Seeking the Magic Mushroom, describing his experience. The article became extremely popular, especially in the movement of the time, leading many people to travel to Me Mexico. And this is around, this is in the 60s, of course, when uh, marijuana was just starting to be used again, and <clears throat> the mushrooms, and of course, LSD. The thing I found about LSD is such a long thing, so you, you don't want to use it very often. How, who has 15 hours, you know, especially these days? So b back in the past, I tried it a couple times. I felt like I got what I needed out of it. But then I tried the psilocybin mushrooms, and that was a lot easier, because then you're talking about maybe a... a 
couple of hours to maybe three or four hours. The whole thing may last six hours, but there's, you know, that beginning part where you don't feel much and all of a sudden you feel a little energetic. And then depending on how much you take, you go farther, whether you're just energetic and feeling good or whether you start seeing trails and different colors and things like that. It's never over the top that I, I saw, but uh, there's a lot of different ones from different parts of the country and they all act a little bit differently. That's what I found out for myself. And the 60 psilocybin res, uh, research boomed with over a thousand studies. It was both used in both air experimental, uh, experimental research and psychotherapy. Some thi scientists thought that psychedelics like psil psilocybin modeled madness and schizophrenia. Others were in, uh, investigating its effect on creativity, uh, cognition, and mystical uh, experiences. Many key figures, including uh, Timothy Leary and uh, Ados Huxley and Alan Ginsberg were involved in these types of experiments. It didn't take long for psilocybin to become popular with the general public as a recreational drug. The name of the band The Doors was inspired by Huxley's book, The Doors of Perception, in which he describes his own theories and experimentations with the drug. As recreational use got out of hand, psilocybin and other psychedelics were soon banned in the 1970s, classified as a Schedule I drug, the same as heroin, and of course, marijuana. We know that now. It's still classified that way federally. Psyched, uh, psychedelic research became marginalized. Funding was cut and all human experiments came to a halt. So the research was banned in the 60s. It was banned as a class one drug and the research stopped. In the late 1990s, scientists began looking at psilocybin once again. Psychedelic research was revived, and the number of scientific publications now increase, is increasing every day. Also, although psilocybin remains classified as a Schedule I drug, scientists have become intrigued by its psychotherapy uh, uh, potential. Recently, the FDA approved a clinical trial of psilocybin for treatment of resistant depression, which will be conducted in 2019. I guess it's underway will be the largest clinical trial ever on psychoactive care, combination of psilocybin and psychological support. Possible that psilocybin may uh, be approved for depression and other uh, conditions in the future, but it's too early to see. Uh, <clears throat> let's see what else it says in here. Uh, another uh, brain imaging study. So there are lots of different studies being done in here. Uh, this is uh, one th aspect of psilocybin saying that it, it refers to resetting the brain, which may be necessary for therapeutic effects. It may explain why the effects of psilocybin persist long after a single dose, since, bra since brain networks may continue to rearrange themselves after an experiment. Uh, what happens is you go on this little, uh, and it depends on the dosage, some dosage is a small dosage, in the studies that they're using for depression and anxiety, it doesn't really matter what doses you use, whether you get high or not off of it, it's the lasting effects afterwards. And it's, it appears that the, these effects last a much, much longer, maybe three, six months, maybe longer than that. Uh, psilocybin induces uh, hallucinogenics. It rewires the brain, dissolves the sense of self or ego, and also the perception of consciousness. That's one of the things it does. It, it uh, kind of diminishes the ego so you're feeling like you're part of everything around you. That's one of the things that I noticed with LSD too. It kind of makes you in a little bit more control. The control really may not be there, but the perception is there of control. You can almost say, you know, when you move your hand and you see those trails, you almost feel like you take that tree and move it over there and everything will be cool. You know, you, those are the kind of thoughts that you have when you have a, on LSD and psilocybin, similar. You see colors and things like that. You certainly up uh, ticks your mood. And the thing I noticed about it uh, back when I was taking it in the 60s, there's really no downside to it. So in other words, you feel good, you sleep better, and it really has a lot of health benefits to it. <clears throat> Some think psilocybin is very useful for understanding the very nature of human consciousness. In a study of eight healthy people, psilocybin was given at different doses from very low to very high. The higher the doses, the psilocybin produced a more intense consciousness shift marked by oceanic boundlessness, euphoria, and depersonalization. 
ego dissolution, which may provo uh, provoke anxiety, uh, visual hallucinations, a mix mixing of the senses, and a dreaminess and reduced in alertness. I'll be right back, folks. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today the TFNN Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale is back. For two weeks only, we're offering the largest bonuses of the year on all Tiger Dollar purchases. Normally, you can get a 10 to 20% bonus on your purchase, but for the Tiger Dollar Holiday Special, we've doubled the normal bonuses where you can now get up to a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase. Tiger Dollars can be used for all TFNN newsletters, products, or services, are fully transferable, and never expire. If you're a current TFNN newsletter subscriber, then this is a great time to buy Tiger Dollars and apply them to all your future transactions for instant added savings. And if you're considering signing up for any TFNN newsletters, webinars, or products in 2020, then get up to a 40% bonus now before this sale ends Sunday, December 22nd. For all the details and to purchase your Tiger Dollars with up to a 40% bonus, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. TFNN has put together the best lineup of live content for traders by traders every market day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected minds in the business. TFNN broadcasts five days a week live from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We have live programming every market day during market hours. Every morning, Larry Pesavento kicks off the trading day live at 9 a.m. and breaks down the opening bell with Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour, followed at 11 a.m. by the team at TD Ameritrade and Thinkorswim with Fast Market. Basil Chapman hosts the Tiger Technicians Hour at noon, Steve Rhodes at 1 p.m. with the Trader's Edge, Dave White at 2 p.m. with the Power Trading Hour, and Tom O'Brien anchors the daily lineup from 3 till 5 as host of the Tom O'Brien Show. Tune in to TFNN's Tiger TV on your computer or mobile device, and you can always find us streaming on YouTube. TFNN.com, educating investors. Now, this article, uh, Psilocybin Safety Side Effects and Intriguing Research, is written by a, a pharmacy uh, person. So uh, it, it has some important things in here. It has dosage in here. It has how long it will last and the different types. That are, they're named in here. Psilocybin versus LSD or mescaline uh, in the... Uh, the effects of it, psilocybin is 45 times less potent than a similar weight of LSD, and it's 66 times more potent than a similar weight of mescaline. Now, the types of trials that they're using for is the treatment of resistant uh, for depression. Uh, another one is for the cancer and terminal illness. Uh, may improve uh, obsessive and compulsive disorder, OCD. Uh, it reduces those symptoms. It may help with addictions different types of addictions like alcoholism or drug addiction, as well as substance uh, abuse, tobacco also they mention here. It's not addictive itself, has a low toxicity, and safe to use in a controlled environment. Uh, psilocybin works differently than other drugs currently used to fight these things. There's, uh, this can trigger long-term changes in your behavior and your thinking on a positive side. Same with the alcohol dependency. Psilocybin increases abstinence from alcohol long-term with no side effects. Psilocybin was accompanied uh, with motivational therapy, and that helped. 
psilocybin helped 12 out of 15 people quit smoking immediately the same day, never to go back again. Uh, there's lots of things on, of course, the mystical experience about that. Uh, it may also help with PTSD. It may also bo uh, boost your uh, new, uh, neurogenesis. So your, your brain is going to be much healthier on this. Increases positive mood uh, and emotions. Uh, induces a dreamlike state, depending on the dosage. It may increase your creativity. So these are things that are all included in this, uh, which is going to be in the Health Signals newsletter, obviously, next. May alter cognition. Uh, it's used in psychotherapy. It may reduce criminal behavior, may reduce inflammation, may reduce cluster headaches, migraines, microdosing. Uh, explains here how you microdose for those effects. And I think this is the important part of it, and there's a lot of people are doing this. So I'd recommend reading this article and going from there, folks. Thanks a lot for sticking around. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.